In this video, we're going to be exploring the concept of a growth mindset. So a growth mindset is adopted by lots of successful people and is key to leading a positive life which is full of lifelong learning, hard work and countless opportunities which ultimately results in success. In these challenging times, a growth mindset arguably is needed now more than ever. So watch this video to find out a little bit more about what a growth mindset is and more importantly, what you can do in order to be able to develop one. So if you are interested in the kind of psychology to it, because the concept of a growth mindset is underpinned by a lot of psychological research completed by Carol Dweck, um, who studied human motivation. And if you are interested in looking at that in a little bit more detail, you can go on YouTube um, and search Carol Dweck, The Power of Not Yet, or the, the a TED Talk. And there will be lots of videos to watch about the studies that Carol completed. But in summary, from her research, Carol concluded that students and as individuals, our mindsets and beliefs shape how we perceive tasks. And ultimately, this affects our behavior, which then impacts on how successful we are. So from her research, Carol Dweck concluded that there are two different types of mindsets. There is a growth mindset and a growth mindset is, tends to be what more successful people have. And then there's a fixed mindset, which people who are not so successful have. As individuals, we can have characteristics of both, um, but but there are they are two the two mindsets that Dweck discovered in her research. So let's look at them in a little bit more detail. So a growth mindset. So a growth mindset is based on the belief that you think that your qualities, your skills, and your intelligence can be developed. Okay. Um, so if you have a growth mindset. You believe that with hard work and practice, you can improve at anything. And therefore, as individuals, we're more likely to view task, activity or challenges positively, as we know it's not a reflection on our ability or on intelligence, but actually that we can get better. So in her research, then, Dweck um, recognise that everyone starts at different starting points. So naturally, some people are better um, at, at things than others. And that's okay, but a growth mindset is still the view that with practice, with hard work, with challenge, those people with a growth mindset believe that they can improve. So let's have a look at the fixed mindset. So unlike those who have a growth mindset who believe intelligence and skills can be developed, the fixed mindset believes that you are born that way. So for example, you're either born good at maths or you're, you know, you're born creative and you either are creative or you're not. So as intelligence or skills, so as people with a fixed mindset believe that as intelligence or skills are fixed, these can lead individuals with a fixed mindset to have a, a desire of wanting to look smart. OK, so as the humans, naturally, everybody wants to appear intelligent and everyone wants to look smart. But as there is because you believe that, you know, um, intelligence and skills are fixed, you tend to show behaviors that might avoid challenges or avoid trying new things or, or um, avoid kind of tasks to, to not look like you're getting them wrong. And as a result, because you are avoiding those things, you can't you don't improve and you don't get better because Dweck argues it's actually by challenging yourself and taking part and learning new things that as individuals we grow and we get better so with a fixed mindset your view is that intelligence and skills are fixed and as a result of this you have a desire to look smart and intelligent all the time and so you might avoid kind of um, getting involved in tasks which might be challenging you might avoid trying new things um, or you might not take feedback from people because you see it as a criticism of your intelligence as your ability and not as part of a learning process and because of that, um, you are less likely to improve than those people with a growth mindset who adopt different behaviours. So let's have a look at it in summary then. So how can having a fixed mindset or a growth mindset affect us? So like I've just said, with a fixed mindset, there is the perception that intelligence or talent or ability is fixed. And therefore, everybody wants to, with this mindset wants to appear smart because that's what we want to do as humans naturally. But as a result of this, you may avoid challenge. You might not put effort in because you see it as pointless because you think, what's the point? I'm not going to get any better. 
You might give up easily because you think you're never going to do it. You might avoid feedback or criticism again because you see that as a reflection on or an insult to your intelligence or your ability rather than part of a learning process. And you might feel threatened by success of others as well because that might make you look a little bit inferior. But actually, what that does it prevents you from getting feedback it prevents you from you know putting hard work and practicing in order to improve so it it affects your development so if we look on the flip side then and we look at a growth mindset people with a growth mindset believe that talent intelligence and ability can be developed and therefore people have a desire to learn because they know that eventually they will improve and they will develop and therefore they're more likely to embrace challenge because they don't see it as a reflection of their intelligence or ability they think if they keep going and they keep challenging themselves eventually they will learn it they persist in the face of setbacks because they know with hard work and effort they will get there and they also see effort and practice as key to learning you people with a growth mindset are more receptive to take on board and learn from criticism because they know that it's not a reflection on their intelligence or ability but it's part of the learning process and that's going to help them improve and they see successful people as an inspiration so they see um it's not you know successful people aren't going to make them look inferior but actually they can learn from them and by immersing themselves with people who are successful they can take advice from them and ultimately make themselves better so you can really see kind of like the diff the difference uh, in mindsets and by adopting those behaviors of a growth mindset those kind of people do tend to improve and they do tend to get better. And that's why they know that by challenging and persistent and hard work is successful because they see the results from doing all of those things, unlike the fixed mindset. So as you can see, it's kind of like a a cycle which um, is kind of never ended and it really reinforces the mindsets and the behaviors and the outcome. But, you know, As individuals, I want you to have a think about what kind of mindset you have, whether it is a growth mindset or a fixed mindset, or you have kind of characteristics of both. But what I would like you to do is have a think about, you know, it's hard to have sort of like a positive and growth mindset every day. And it's hard to always put hard work and effort in and, you know, try your best. So I want you to have a think about, you know, what affects your um, mindset. And so you can recognize the effects that some things may have on you. And so if you can recognize that, you can put strategies in to kind of combat that. So for example, here, we've got, you know, negative self-talk. So um, something which might prevent you from having a growth mindset is that little, you know, the little voice in your head that might be telling you, you know, oh, what's the point, you know, give up, and you're not going to be able to do it. Or it might be other people's opinions that are saying, oh, you're not good enough to do that. Or it might be the fact that, you know, you're not always motivated day in, day out to put hard work and practice in. Or it might be, you know, you've got a little bit of a foggy head and you can't see kind of the way forward and you think, oh, well, you know, what's the point? Because I don't really know what I'm doing it for. So really think about, you know, what affects your mindset. So there are some of the things that I've come up with, but, you know, there might be things which are personal to you which have an effect on your mindset so just have a think about that so have a think about in the past something which has held you back from achieving a goal um what strategies can you think of to adopt to combat if that happens so you can just pause the video and you know write some of those down but i want to share with you some strategies of the effects to combat the effects that we spoke about before. So for example, with negative self-talk, can you, you know, if you have got that little voice in your head saying, you know, you can't do it or you're not good enough, give yourself some positive affirmations. So, you know, tell yourself every day that, you know, you are brilliant and remind yourself of things that you have achieved in the past because, you know, the mind um, can play tricks on you. So it's important that if you are, you know, feeling that way, that actually you remind yourself of when you have achieved something or perhaps speak to your family and friends so they can, you know, remind you of how amazing you are. You know, not every not every day do we make up, wake up feeling motivated. 
But, you know, hard work, effort and practice really is key in order to be successful at things. So find out what motivates you. You know, could that be writing down your favourite inspirational quotes? Or could it be playing your favourite song to get you in the mood for doing work? You know, what is it that motivates you? Because when you can find that, um, you will find that it's a lot easier to, to get up every day and you'll find that you'll be able to start motivating yourself. Because, you know motivating being motivated isn't easy you know that even the most people who are very motivated will tell you that are days when they have to make themselves get up and motivate themselves so it's not easy so you need to find out what motivates you the situation that you're in can definitely affect your mindset but what you need to do is focus on what you can change rather than focus what you can't haven't got control of because you haven't got control over that and you can't do anything about it so let's focus on what you have got control of and change and and remain positive and focus on what you can change other people's opinions so your opinion and the people you care about are the only opinion that matters you know people that you're at college with now aren't going to be with you for the rest of your lives so make sure you focus on you and your goals as it's your life so do what makes you happy sometimes if we do have a bit of a foggy head and we can't see the way forward it's really important that we set ourselves goals but also break it down into manageable chunks so you're not putting too much pressure on yourself and it doesn't feel like an overwhelming goal because it's broken down into goals which are small and achievable so recognize so um something that you know does affect our mindset is is our mood. So some days we might not be feeling at our best and you might put some music on to motivate yourself and you know, you're not really feeling up to it, but that's okay. Recognize that feeling and let yourself, you know, feel that way. Because, you know, if you really, really don't want to do something, let's be serious, you're not going to do it. So set yourself a time scale that you're going to allow yourself to feel like that, but saying, actually, you know, tomorrow, I'm going to let myself feel like this today, but tomorrow I'm going to get up and I'm going to be motivated. So in summary then, so we spoke a lot about the growth mindset and the effects that our mindset can have. And ultimately, our mindset affects our behaviours, which ultimately impacts on how successful we are. So if we see that skills and knowledge can be taught and can be learned, we are more likely to try harder to learn and understand because we know eventually we'll be able to do it. And therefore, we're more likely to put effort in and practice and challenge ourselves in order to get better. It's really important that we see failure as a learning curve and we don't fear it because actually by failing, there are lots of things that we learn from doing so. Um, And you will learn not to make those mistakes again. So a failure, a mistake is never really a mistake if you learn from it. And it's really important that we see challenge and constructive feedback as a way of improving because it's not a reflection um, or it's not a criticism of our intelligence or of our ability, but it's very much part of a learning process and it will help you to get better. And successful people, you know, really can give you ideas and inspiration. So don't let, let them feel, you know, inferior. Surround yourself with successful people because you will be able to get ideas and inspiration from them.